Christian here with Ford Momentum, and in this box from Jet Hot Coatings are my 2000 degree coated OBX racing headers for my 1UZ VVTi. I have a 1998 Lexus GF400, it's supercharged, manual swap, limited slip, all the goodies if you didn't already know, but one thing it's been lacking is headers. And you guys have been asking, when are you going to get the headers on? How hard is the install? What's it going to sound like and what's the performance going to be like? I'm going to answer all of those questions. So this is episode one. We're going to open these together, take a look for the very first time, and then I'm going to take you on a tour of the Jet Hot facility, and they're going to answer some questions about why you should get ceramic coated headers. These are probably imitation headers or knockoffs of something like PPE headers. There is nothing probably better than the PPE headers. So if you're looking for headers, I would consider PPE, but man, is it expensive. I know that quality comes at a cost. It's so much money plus the ceramic coating on top of that. There's a few places you can try, some places that are in Australia, New Zealand, those guys know the UZ engines inside and out. You might be able to get some different headers from down there. You could have them custom made, you could get them from PPE, or you could wait and see if OBX is going to release more of these headers for us UZ enthusiasts. <laughs> But the 2000 degree coating feels substantial. It feels like they added weight to these things. I'm standing here with Lance from Jet Hot Coatings and we have got a great episode for you today. You can get pretty much anything coated here and you can get different colors and you can get different temperature profiles. NA versus forced induction, like what do you recommend? I have so all recommendations for like, forced induction applications like yours of the supercharger. I do recommend our 2000 degree coating, which is our rough texture coating where it has a flame applied where it helps create a thermal barrier to help insulate the heat. I uh, choice of words I would choose for a satin silver top coat color which helps bring down the radiant heat as well. A lot of the guys will be NA guys, right? Like V8, NA. Do you recommend the 1300? Correct. I do recommend the 1300 coatings for a classic polish. Classic polish is the best for for any low builds for like that. It does about 55 to 6 hours of heat reduction. It do, we do coat the inside and outside for that. And also you get a lifetime warranty on that coating as well. Is it lifetime on all the coatings? Yes, sir. Okay. Can you explain why people shouldn't use header wrap? It destroys your headers. It holds moisture. I've taken off wrap personally back there in the production and it gets you itchy. I've seen rusted parts. It scars the parts and it doesn't look too good. If you have a V8, you really don't want to be taking those headers off and on. Ceramic coating minimizes hot spots. Yes, sir. There's just a lot of reasons not to cheap out on this. If right. you're going to spend a bunch of money on headers and all the time to get them on and all that, you might as well do it right. Lance, can you explain the prep process really briefly? Because if we bring you a, like new headers, like mm -hmm. I, I'm bringing you, what do you do? Do you do anything different versus like older parts? Yeah, I'll go through the same process. Okay. I think it's all the same process. It goes through a thermal degreaser, so any type of dirt greaser, right? It gets burned up. Um, even though they're still new, we still do it. Okay. Then it goes through a series of media blasts, and then it goes through our process of spray dog to cure dog process. It goes through an oven, and then we do an inside coating as well. I can't explain how that's done because that's our secret here. Got but, it. Um, then it goes through, if you're doing polish, then it goes into the bottom drawer tank, it goes to that polish finish. Now, I think this would be a great time to go check out the process a little bit yeah. uh, from a high level. So we're going to go back into the facility and check it out, guys. I wanted to point out something real quick, and that is that Jet Hot is ISO certified, which is a huge deal in the coding world, in the automotive world. Uh, impressive that they took the time and effort and resources to get ISO certified, which requires a recertification one time per year. What's well, so where the magic happens? These are my headers right here. Yep. This gentleman here is taking in parts either from shipment or hand delivered like yep. mine. Can you just talk briefly about the process when these come in? They're newer used, so still check them out, make sure there's no dents or cracks or anything like that. We'll take pictures of them, and then he'll take a scribe, he'll scribe to your order number on the gas side of the blend of the headers right here. We'll, we'll scribe your number right here of your order. He's doing ID and damage? Yes, sir. Check, and what if you find damage? What if something's wrong? We notify the customer right away to let them know, hey, look, 
we got some damaged parts. What would you like us to do? We okay. have sometimes we do have a guy here that can weld them if there's a if there's a crack or a hole in your parts. We can't fix it for you here. The order number and it's for polish inside outside. And there they go out on the floor, go blast. And after that, polish go get the top of the That's a wrap. Uh, don't wrap your headers. That's not what I meant. Uh, I just want to thank you so much for walking me around the whole process and for getting my uh, headers taken care of. We'll look forward to unboxing them when they arrive at my house and showing everybody what they look like.